Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Dell Inspiron 2350. This is a 23 inch touchscreen device, all in one PC, that can be configured with up to a fourth generation Intel Core i7 processor. It comes supplied with a really nice wireless chiclet style keyboard. It also comes with a wireless mouse. It's worth noting though that the mouse isn't Bluetooth, so you do have to take up one of the USB ports to drive this mouse wirelessly. The slimline base is where all of the processing power comes from, and where all of the connections are housed too. You can see on the left hand side here we've got two USB 3 connectors, and along the front of the unit we've got a really nice speaker. Around on the back of the device you can see some ventilation slots to dissipate some of the heat. There is a fan in here which does ramp up from time to time but it's not too loud. We've also got an HDMI input where you could plug in something like a next generation console or maybe a Blu-ray player, and then we've got an HDMI output two USB 2 ports and also a gigabit ethernet. Round on this side of the base we've got a headphone output, a couple of USB 2 sockets and an SD card memory slot. And then on the side of the screen we've got the power on off button and also some controls for the menu and brightness of the display. Now when it comes to screen angle the Inspiron 2350 offers up a pivot point at the back here and also a second one just up here. So we can in fact lower the screen and as we're lowering the screen, we can tilt the screen backwards and forwards, and we can go right down into a flat position. And this would be ideal if you were perhaps using this for gaming or for demonstration purposes. And the only downside of this is it is very, very difficult to move. So now when I want to bring it back up into a sort of a working mode position, you find it very difficult to move. You can see how much I'm struggling with this. Because the base isn't very heavy, you do sometimes find that the base moves when you're trying to adjust this screen. Now our review model is very well specced out indeed. It's got dedicated graphics. It's also sporting an Intel Core i7 processor running at 2.4 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and the 64-bit version of Windows 8.1. With regards to the user experience, it's very nice indeed. The screen is very, very accurate, provides a nice amount of detail, and as I mentioned earlier, the accompanying audio is very good too. I've been very pleased at how this actually works for media consumption, and I certainly don't think you'll be disappointed. Now I do have to cover off one very important negative, and this is probably down to a driver issue. But out of the box, the touchscreen worked, and then after doing a reboot because the keyboard and mouse wouldn't work, the touchscreen would no longer accept any input. Now I tried to troubleshoot this via the Dell website, but to date I haven't been able to actually reinstate the touchscreen capability, which is a shame because this sort of device and the operating system, Windows 8.1, really does scream out to be actually a touchscreen experience. But that said, the Dell Inspiron 2350 is a really well specified package, and with that little niggle aside, it's a really worthy contender if you're looking for an all-in-one desktop solution. So this was my first look at the Dell Inspiron 2350. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Is it recording? Hello? Yes, it's recording, and it's the end of the video. I was only mucking around with you. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. There are a couple of annotations on your screen as well. The one at the top of the screen will take you to a random pick from my channel so you can watch another one of my videos. Please do click it. And there's also another clicky annotation at the bottom of your screen which will subscribe you to the Geek and Noise channel. Click that one and you won't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.